this is problem three. On, on these next few, basically these are going to be uh, all journal entries are going to do. So we got to follow the journal entry format, which is you've got to have at least one debit and one credit, at least one. You may have multiple on either side or both sides, but you got to have at least one debit. You got to have at least one credit. So if you have all your debits listed out or your credits listed out, and you're missing, that's the first check you're going to do. You're going to say, "Hey, Mr. Bell, why don't why am I not getting this right?" Well, you got to make sure you have at least one debit or at least one credit. There may be some that are different, but that's the rule. That's the general rule. Also. You got to know that the numbers have to balance. So for most of these, these are simple ones. So you're going to have the same number as debit as you do credit, right? So the numbers have to balance. And then of course, as you do these for the computer system to mark mark it right, and it's just good format, good good form. We got to have the debits first. Those are those are the three rules I usually share, and then we work through some of the other issues that we have. So let's work through this real quick. Something else to note: if you have this word cash. In any of your problems, I'm going to underline all the ones that I see. When cash shows up, that means it will be one of the accounts, right? If something's happening to cash, you're going to have it as one of the accounts in your journal entry, guaranteed. So here's the trick with cash, right? So for all these that I underlined, cash will be one of your accounts. So if you are getting cash, if you if cash is being invested in, if you're collecting cash. Right. If you're receiving cash, whatever the words are, if cash is coming to the business, that will be a debit. It's going to be an addition. It'll be a debit to cash. Cash will be your debit. It will be on top. The first thing, debit, cash for that amount. If you are paying cash, if you are、um, using cash, whatever. If cash is leaving out, leaving the business, right? If you're if you're paying cash, you know any of these things where cash is leaving the business, you're putting cash into somebody else's hands, out of the business, paying employees, whatever the case is, it's going to be a credit, a credit to cash. So and there are some that don't have cash. So in that case, we're going to have a, probably a, a receivable or a payable, depending on what happens. So let's go through the ones that we don't have here. June first, we've got、uh, owner invested in the company cash, right? Cash is our plus. That's our debit. Our credit is going to be owner capital. That's going to be our capital account. Company purchased eight thousand of furniture made from reconciled wood on credit. On credit, right? We purchase something on credit. That's going to be a payable, most likely accounts payable. There could be all sorts of different kinds of payable, but we're going to have a payable. Payable is going to be we're increasing payable. That's going to be our credit, our debit here. We're getting furniture. That's our asset. That'll be the debit. June third, company paid cash for prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance is an asset. That's an asset. That'll be a plus. We're paying our cash out. That's the credit. Prepaid's a debit. Company、uh, billed a customer seven thousand for sustainable services provided. We provided the services. We did the work. We earned the revenue. So revenue is gonna be credit.、Uh, did we get the cash? No.、Uh, so in lieu of cash, we're going to have an accounts pay、uh, accounts receivable. There we go. Accounts receivable will be our debit, and then、uh, going down through here, we paid cash toward the payable. This actually goes back up to June second payable, right? So if we're paying our payable off, our payable is going to be debited. When we get more of a payable, more liability is on the credit side. We pay it off; it's a debit. Cash is going to be our credit there.、Uh, company collected seven thousand cash. Services billed. We're getting cash. That's our debit.、Uh, services. Build. We collected cash.、Uh, we already counted the revenue, so in this case, our accounts receivable up top that we counted、uh, will now be our credit. That's going to be our credit there.、Uh, T. James invested an additional fourteen thousand cash in sustainable company. Cash is coming in, just like number one. It's capital. Capital is our credit. Owner's capital. And June thirty, we've got cash coming in. In advance for providing sustainable services to a company, advance we didn't actually do the work yet, so we have something called an unearned revenue. Unearned revenue is our credit. Okay, moving on to number four. So this one again, look at your cash. That will really help you with this one. I think you've pretty much got this one done. Cash is going to be 
Uh, super important on this one. Cash in is a debit, cash out is a credit. So get that first and that one should be pretty easy. Uh, problem number five, again, we're looking at cash here. So we got cash there, cash here. Okay, so all those are gonna be pretty easy. We're getting, we're receiving cash in that ca in this case. All right, so number six, as we continue here, one important thing as we do number six. So we're gonna do a, it looks like we're gonna do a cash ledger. So we're gonna have cash here. Basically, you got it lined out. It's gonna be debit, credit, and we've gotta figure out which side it's gonna go on. Right, which side is including our $19,000 investment from cash. So anything that comes in from cash is going to be on this side. Anything that goes out, the payment will be on that side. So debit in, credit out for cash. That's what we're going to have there. And so that one, that one's actually pretty easy. Uh, we're also going to have to do the ledger side of this. So a T accounts or journal entry side of this, right? So the journal entries are gonna be in here. Some of these, we're not gonna have cash, right? Some of them are not gonna be cash based. So like for example, E, right? This is on, a, on account. So this last one here, so important thing to note, right? So when we're creating financial statements, all these accounts that are listed for us are in order, uh, on purpose, right? There, there's an order to things. And so one thing you're gonna to need to know is how the order happens so it'll make it easier for you to create the financial statements. So we're gonna start here at the top. We're gonna go from cash down to equipment. These are our assets right there. For liabilities, we're gonna have right here, right there. So two liabilities. Everything beyond that point uh, is gonna be part of the equity, right? So going down here, that's gonna be equity. This is all equity stuff here as well. Just like the accounting equation, right? Assets equals liabilities plus equity. So that's the way that they line out. On the equity side, as you move into doing your, as we do the financial statements, we're gonna start at the bottom, right here. We're gonna start at the bottom and do what's called rolling up the numbers. So our income statement that we have here is going to have this uh, equation as the income statement, right? It's gonna have revenues minus expenses equal net income. That's the basic uh, income statement equation. So that's at the very bottom. Here's our revenues right here and here. These two are our revenues. These are our revenues right there. And then here are our expenses. There's four of them. These are going to go into, into the income statement and they're going to create a net income. So our next one that we're gonna do is our statement of owner's equity. In here, statement of owner's equity. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the, the statement of owner's equity is we're gonna have a beginning balance for capital, usually at the beginning of the month. Then we're gonna add some things, and then we're gonna subtract some things, and then we're gonna have an ending balance for our capital. So that's the way the statement of owner's equity goes. And so one of the things we add is our net income. It's gonna go in there along with investments and um, and other items that may be added in there. The things we subtract, if we have a net loss, that'll be subtracted from the capital account or from the beginning balance, um, and also any withdrawals, any owner withdrawals. So now we're gonna go over here. This is the next one, and the last one is our balance sheet. That is assets equals liability plus equity. Right, that's our accounting equation. So our assets, we know where they are, they're way over here. All these assets are gonna get pulled over. All the liabilities over here are gonna get pulled over and put into the balance sheet. Equity is gonna be a little different. We're gonna grab this ending balance that we did and we're gonna plug it in. That will be our ending balance. That's for a sole proprietorship. That's what we're doing here right now. So we haven't got into corporations or partnerships, but that's that's the way it's gonna be structured for now. And and by the end of the term, we'll start talk. We'll talk about corporations and partnerships and other ways to, to show equity. So, so anyways, hopefully this helps you. And uh, have a good day. And we'll talk to you later. Reach out if you need any help. Thanks. Bye.